Hi, Kipsters. It's Miss Pakvasa and Miss Peters here. Um, this month is Asian American and Pacific Islander Heritage Month. And Ms. Peters and I are actually both Asian American. So we're really excited to, um, oh, sorry. We're really excited to celebrate and share that with you. So we're gonna share our stories a little bit, but then we're also gonna share a little bit about some books um, that have Asian American, Asian and Pacific Islander characters. And if any of those books sound interesting to you, then you can click on the links at the end and you can hear Miss Peters and I do some read alouds. So it'll be a good way for you to learn about Asian American and Pacific Islanders and also just to hear some fun stories. So this is a map of the United States. No, oh, that's not true. This is a map of the world and this shows all the different continents. So take a minute and think, which continent do we live on? Think about it, point to it on your screen if you want to. If you said that we live on the continent of North America, then you are correct. We live in the United States of America, which is in the continent of North America. And in the US, we have people from all different places around the world who live here, um, including people from Asia and the Pacific Islands. So there are people who have moved here from Asia. There are people whose parents or grandparents or great grandparents are from Asia or the Pacific Islands, um, just like me and Miss Peters. So my dad is actually from India, which is a country in Asia. Um, he was born there. He grew up there. He went to school there. He even went to college there. And then after college, he moved to the United States so that he could get his master's degree here and get a more of an education. And me and my brother were both raised in America, but we're half Indian. Um, this picture is actually of me and my dad and my brother. I'm wearing a sari, which is a traditional Indian dress that women wear. My dad's wearing a kurta, which is a traditional outfit that men wear. And my brother is being super boring and just wearing a regular old suit. So here's another picture. You can see in this picture, my brother is being really cute and he's wearing his little Indian outfit and so am I. Um, and now to Miss Peters. Hi, Kipsters. So Miss Peters is actually from Thailand. My mom is from Thailand and my dad is from America, but I was born there and I lived there when I was a baby. We moved away and then we came back when I was in middle school and high school. And my mom is from the south of Thailand, from a small village, and she lived in Thailand her whole life. And she met my dad in Thailand when he was there getting his master's degree. So you can see in that picture is a picture of me and my mom. And the tiny photo right there is me in first grade, and I'm wearing a traditional Thai top. So since me and Ms. Pakbas are Asian American, we are really excited to celebrate Asian American Pacific Islander Heritage Month with you. So we got a bunch of books like Ms. Pakwasa said and did some read alouds for you. So now we're going to tell you a little bit about the books that have Asian, Asian American, and Pacific Islander characters. So this first book takes place, well, it doesn't take place in Cambodia, but the character is from Cambodia. Her grandmother's from Cambodia and she lives in America. You can see Cambodia is right next to Thailand where Ms. Peters is from. And in this story, the grandmother tells her granddaughter lots of stories about what it was like living in Cambodia. So our next couple of books that we did read alouds for are Big Red Lollipop and King for a Day. So Big Red Lollipop is actually a story that takes place in America. Um, and it's about a family who is Pakistani. So this is Pakistan, it's right next to India, which is where my dad is from. Um, and it's about her going to her very first birthday party. Then King for a Day is a story that takes place in Pakistan. And it's about the kite holiday that they have every year at the end of winter um, where they fly their kites and they try to knock other people's kites down. This next book takes place in Tokyo in Japan. It's about a girl who describes her life there and what it's like. Then this next book is about a girl who's from Korea and she moves to the United States um, and she wants to fit in so she doesn't tell people her Korean name. She has to think of a new American name that she will share. 
And this next book is called Hot Hot Roti for Daraji. And it's about an Indian American boy who makes roti for his grandfather. And his grandfather tells some stories about India. And then last but not least, we have this book called Too Many Mangoes. And it um, takes place in Hawaii. Hawaii is part of the United States. It's also one of the Pacific Islands. And it's uh, called Too Many Mangoes. And it's about two Hawaiian kids who help their grandpa pick mangoes from a giant mango tree. So um, those are all the books that we have and that we are doing read alouds on. So we hope that you listen to some of them and hear some fun stories and learn a little bit about Asian, Asian Americans, and Pacific Islanders, just like me and Miss Peters. Um, we love you. Bye, Kipsters. Bye, Kipsters.